squash with the sweetness of the sloppy joe mixture and the gooey runny yolk Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making some I've preheated my oven to about 425 degrees. 425. So how I like to eat it is I like to bake some spaghetti squash and then put the mixture over it and top it with a fried ready egg. It is so good. Here are my ingredients. As you guys can see, I've already chopped everything up. I started out with about two green bell peppers, one small sweet onion, and I probably used about six cloves of garlic or so. That's kind of your preference. I tend to like more garlic. Step one, slice your spaghetti squash in half. Don't forget to scoop out the seeds. And now I'm just gonna lather up with some oil, throw some salt and pepper on there, and then pop it in the oven. Start off with a hot pan, splash some oil in there, throw the garlic in, mix it around a bit. Then we're gonna throw the onions and peppers in there. Mix that around for just a minute. We don't want to cook the vegetables too much before we throw the turkey in there. We don't want them to get super mushy while the sauce is cooking. After we throw the turkey in there and mix it up, we're gonna add the Worcestershire sauce. And I can't say that word. Honestly, I do not know how to pronounce it. I forgot that I got crushed tomatoes instead of tomato sauce. You usually do tomato sauce. So I'm gonna open this up and see what we're working with. If they're crushed enough, I'm just gonna throw them in there. If I think it needs to be smoother, then I'm gonna throw it in my food processor. Crushed tomatoes, totally fine to use in this. It is crushed. So there you go, I'm just gonna throw it in, see how it tastes. So I'm adding two cups of this crushed tomato. You can use tomato sauce too. It's not gonna make a difference. They are pretty similar. And then I'm throwing in the maple syrup. You can throw the maple syrup in before or after. I just like to add it in with my sauce. I'm not really sure why, that's just how I do it. Um, I forgot to set a timer. I'm gonna say it needs to be in there for like another 20 minutes, we'll go with that. I usually bake it for about 30 minutes. First taste test, here we go. Then it's salt. And more Worcestershire sauce. Okay, taste test number two. <sighs> it's just missing something. All right, I'm gonna improvise here. I'm gonna put a little better than bouillon chicken. This stuff is really good and I'm hoping it adds some good flavor because this is kind of tasting bland. Three teaspoons. This has been cooking for about 20 minutes or so as I've been adding things to it, as you guys can see. Delicious. Every time I cook this, it's different. The amount of maple syrup I use, salt, whatever, it's always different. It always is just based on how it tastes. So, taste your food. I just realized that I totally put it in upside down. Like, it's supposed to be facing down. So it kind of steams itself. So I'm gonna take this out and flip it and then bake it for another 10 minutes. Oof. Listen to that sizzle. We're just gonna flip the squash over and start shredding it. It should start to look like noodles as you run your forks through it. Heat a pan up, drizzle some oil in there, spread it around and crack the egg, throw some salt and pepper and let it cook. We are just gonna take our mixture and pour it all over our beautiful squash boat, top the egg and then dive right in. This egg was totally not as runny as I thought it was gonna be, so this is a little bit of a disappointment. It is still gooey, so it's still really good. Mm. 
Did I even chew that? <laughs> I think I swallowed that all. Oh, it burns, it burns, it burns. Oh God. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Do it. 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 Do it.